Alrighty guys, so take a look at this. Here's what we were sitting on top of, right? There's this crib, ton of fish over here. If I go ahead and I put it in forward orientation, forward. Look at that. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we have got a special video for you guys. The last couple years, we've been kind of doing this series where we like to test one piece of equipment versus the other. We've done the live scope versus flasher, and we've done a flasher versus nothing. Um, today's episode, we are gonna be putting that to test again, but we are gonna be doing the Garmin Live Scope versus an underwater camera. We got our Markham underwater camera here, and we are at one of our favorite crappie lakes. Now, in today's video, we wanna show you guys the benefits to owning both of these, because both of them do come with a purpose um, so if you are in the market for something, we're going to be showing you guys in today's video why you should probably be owning this and you should probably be owning this. So to start this video off, we have come to a deep hole in a main basin of a lake. Now this time of the year, really all times of the year, crappies are going to be out in the main basin on a lot of lakes. So we're at one of the main spots where it's at its deepest point and I'm going to go ahead drill a hole here and show you guys the benefits right away to why you should be owning a live scope. Go ahead, drill my first hole. All right, so one hole. I'm gonna go ahead, get the live scope out here. I already have it on. Go ahead, drop the transducer in the water. Now, the benefits to why you guys should be owning a live scope. Now we have made plenty of videos with this piece of equipment and so have a lot of people. So it's a great piece of equipment, obviously, but today we're showing you why you need to own this. So we drilled one hole, 22 feet of water. Now the spot we're looking for is like 26, 27 feet of water. So we're a little bit off. Now the nice thing with this, instead of a regular flasher, is the fact that you can scan forward. So we got 100 feet, capability of scanning in forward mode. So I have it in forward right now. We are at 75 feet and you can tell we are here and there is nothing here. So go ahead, move my transducer. Just like that, you can see, uh, well, there is something on the bottom. Like I said, we have fished this lake before. So I do know what this is. This is a crib and all these specs, these are all crappies. So obviously, that's the spot we're gonna wanna be at. And I was able to find that with drilling one hole. Well, first I looked at a map, a contour map, went and found a spot where I think there's gonna be fish, drilled a hole, scanned in forward, found a crib. And even if you weren't looking for a crib, let's just say you were just trying to find schools because that's what crappies do, um, you would find it with that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go the 35 feet over to the right here, drill on top of this crib, set up the shack, do all that. Once we set up the shack, I'm gonna be showing you guys why you need to be owning an underwater camera as well. So let's go set up the shack, and I'll talk to you more when we get inside. Right, you guys so made it in the shack got it all set up got the underwater camera on we have the live scope on everything is fully set up now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna turn on the underwater camera for you now the problem that we were facing for the last like 20 minutes is trying to find a spot where there isn't a whole lot of fish to where like because there is a ton I'm gonna overlay the Garmin footage right now so you can see the live scope there's about 50 fish under us so we have the camera up above that well, the problem is now we're dealing with a sliver about this big. Yeah. Um, but that brings me to the point here. Underwater camera is great because you can get into the shack, you can set up on a spot like where we're at right now, and you can physically see the fish. That is one benefit. So like right now you can see my jig down there, just cruising to see if there's a fish that wants to hit. But the most exciting thing about an underwater camera Ooh. is like that you can see them physically go in open their mouths and then if they eat it or not brandon didn't even make it to the underwater camera <laughs> already, already, already had a fish so like me you can see these fish are coming in they're swinging and missing 
Now with a live scope, you wouldn't be able to see that. You would just see the blob come up to your jig and then you would be like, this fish has got to hit. Most of the time they do hit, but if it's a finicky bite, you can physically see them on the underwater camera, opening their mouth, taking it in, and you can set it immediately because sometimes they'll like to spit it. And the second big reason to own an underwater camera is if you guys have young children, or if you guys have wives, or just people that don't ice fish a lot and you want to entertain them, this that's, is one of the best things you can do. Yeah, best way, super easy. We're sitting I mean, in a shack. Who doesn't warm. enjoy watching it? You can literally see the fish eat your bait. It's a lot of fun. It's probably one of the best ways to keep them, keep people entertained, even entertain yourself while you're out here. Just learn more about what's going on underneath you, under the ice. Look at that, I'm already hooked up. <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't even make it to the underwater camera. It feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, nice crappie. There we go. Well, we're gonna go ahead, keep at it here. I'm gonna try and get in front of the lens. Guys, we are on an absolute pile of I got of mine fish. in front of the lens. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh, had one swing and miss. Oh, decent there's crappie. another one. Oh my god, look at all the fish. Hey, crappie. Hey, buddy. There we go. Oh, nice. First crappie. There Not a big one. That one kind of came out of nowhere, but that's first crappie. Not anything too crazy. Probably like nine incher. But, you got it cool underwater footage of them eating, which is always fun and exciting. Real quick, I want to run down what we are using today to film and catch these fish. I am starting off today by using the Frostbite Dinner Bell. Of course, this is probably my go-to crappie lure when I am out here chasing crappies. Brandon is using just a tungsten jig and a plastic. Um, we are both running Frostbite rods. We've got our rods both paired up with the Carbon X from PC Fun. Almost had one there, eh? Almost. Well, as you can see, there's Nick's bait on the underwater camera, and he's got some fish that are high up in the water column. Again, we're in about 25 feet of water right now, and uh, these fish are kind of suspended all over. We've got the camera sitting at about 15 feet roughly, and uh, yeah, 10 feet off bottom, we're already getting fish. So again, Frostbite rods, Carbon X reels from PC Fun. If you guys are looking for an affordable reel, I would definitely check out the website. We're gonna have all of it linked down below. But if you're looking for a great reel to use, we use it all year round, really. We use the 500 series for ice fishing, and then we step up into the thousands and the 2000 series and everything. Um, awesome reels. Oh, oh come on, yeah, gotta I'm land it. <laughs> Again, guys, check them out. Uh, we use them year round. It's been our absolute go-to. We use Holy other reels God. from them as well. There we go. That thing smoked it. He came out of nowhere on the other camera. Let me get out of the <laughs> way here. There you go. Nice. Unbelievable. All right. Didn't mean to interrupt Brandon, but <laughs> if you guys want to check out anything PC Fun, we will have a link down in our description. If you guys use code NBEDITS18 at the checkout, you can save 18% off not just the reels but anything on the website so go ahead check it out down in the description as you can tell underwater camera we got it set up in a good spot you could see that fish came through hit and uh yeah so now that we're in the shack we got fish all around us and we're catching them the main goal the rest of the video is uh we're just going to show you now the benefits of the underwater camera now that you are on top of the school it's super beneficial use the live scope find the fish, but now we're in the shack, we got that set up, and Brandon, you wanna just run through, what are your like top three things? We talked about the live scope. Why would somebody want to spend their own money on an underwater camera? Well, obviously the live scope is nice, but the underwater camera, what it allows you to do is learn a little bit more about how fish interact. I would say that's number one, is just learning the body of water that you're fishing. With an underwater camera, you can go ahead, drop it down and see what's going on below the ice and just kind of see how fish interact with a bait, whether they like your color, whether they like the presentation that you're offering. Maybe you need to switch types of baits completely. Um, if you're using plastics, maybe you've got a great day and you see how, the, how it's working for you. Maybe you got to switch over to live bait, use some grubs, use some minnows, stuff like that. So biggest thing for us, I would say, is just learning about different species and how they interact with your baits. Second thing, 
honestly entertainment who does not like watching a fish literally eat the bait that you're presenting to them live oh, yeah. like, like right now you got how many fish are around me <laughs> you got bluegills you've got crappies and you can kind of tell what species do how they act differently like right now nick's rocking a spoon sometimes the bluegills will interact with the spoon but most often we find that the perch and the crappies really like that dinner bell bait um bluegills will eat it but a lot but of times you need a bigger one yeah that one saw it this one might go for it it just kind of depends you know but like a crappie they rarely turn it down but it's oh. nice because you can see like that fish hit it before granted it's a small bluegill but that one hit it before didn't have it quite so i didn't even set the hook versus on the live scope i would have set the hook on it um depends on the fish if they're finicky or not you can see them suck in the bait and push it in and out of their yeah. mouth so as soon as they suck it in you can see it live action and just get them right away versus the live scope you might miss some of those fish lastly the one thing i would add to it is kind of a combination between learning and entertainment um if you're out fishing with maybe some youngsters maybe you've got some kids or some family that's with you maybe you bring your wife along whatever the case might be just showing them that and getting them entertained into the sport of fishing, that's huge for us. Like we've always grown up loving fishing, the sport's amazing. But when you can watch it live on the camera, I think it gets everyone more involved. Um, and overall, it's just a fun way to get out and uh, hammer some fish. So I'm gonna go ahead, I need to put a plastic on. I'm gonna try to get the tungsten jig down there and uh, just kind of battle it out with you, see what they want more. So here we go. instant <laughs> oh boy came up and just smoked it decent one oh. another crappie we're not going to catch like a 15 incher out of this lake i guess anything is possible but mostly you are just going to be catching that like 9 to 12 inch range and a lot of them this lake has a very good population of crappies and i know we get this question a lot with our dinner bells guys as you can tell with this i'm not tipping it with anything this is just straight up a dinner bell straight from frostbite's website i'm not tipping it with nothing i'm just sending it down and these fish eat i do not tip my bait like ever i know it is crazy to some people even when i'm walleye fishing i usually do not tip my bait now if they are like extremely finicky and i'm noticing it then maybe i'll put a minnow head on or like if I'm crappie fishing, you know, put some waxies or some spikes on. But for the most part, yeah, I keep it pretty simple. I like to catch my fish and then just send them down, send my bait down so you can keep them entertained. That's the biggest thing with crappie fishing. Got them. Absolute blast. We have not crappie fished. Man, it has been a while since we have crappie fished. But. Besides walleyes, I would honestly have to say crappies are probably my second favorite. When you get on a big school, I mean, there is just nothing better. Here comes one. Got him. Got him. Just barely came up and hit it. Got a little bluegill or some crappies. Oh, it's nice crappie. crappie. Man, just a blast. <laughs> Look at all the freaking bluegills. Oh my gosh. Look how many tiny bluegills are up there. There's like, I don't even know how many there are on the screen right now, but there are a lot of bluegills. There you go. What do you have? Nice, nice crappie. crappie. Alrighty guys, well, as you can tell, a couple nice crappies here below us, but as you saw from the underwater footage, we have a pile absolute pile of fish below us and a lot of them are small bluegills and i think what we might do here is actually step outside the shack bear the cold and possibly use the panoptics live scope to just kind of pan around us and just see obviously we know there's a ton of fish here and we could sit here probably all day and just continue to hammer fish and we would slowly start to get some bigger fish throughout the day but i think if we were to just step outside pan around and just see maybe we can find a school that's off of this structure but that's might hold some bigger fish be yeah we want to try and target either bigger gills but mostly bigger crappies we've just got so many small bluegills below us that it's honestly hard to even keep them off at this point yeah i'm ready whenever you are step outside yeah. show one last time the power of the live scope and why you guys need to buy it because 
Yeah. <laughs> in in a little bit everything. here, we're going to go out there. We're going to get on a school of like 50 freaking crappie. And every drop is going to be one after another. So I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I'm not even going to drop down there. I'm ready. Alrighty, guys. So take a look at this. Here's what we were sitting on top of, right? There's this crib. Ton of fish over here. If I go ahead and I put it in forward view, let's go to sonar setup, installation, orientation, forward. Look at that. Here's zero feet, right? And this is scanning forward. That's that school of crappies we were looking for. That's there, there's it. There's gotta be a hundred of them. There's gotta be almost a thousand of them. Look at how many fish are there. That is incredible. Well, we should probably go drill a hole on that, huh? Yeah, we might have to go drill a couple holes over there. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, well, if I step outside the shack here, as you can tell, we've got a couple holes drilled outside. Nick, you wanna explain what's going on here? Well, you can see I have the auger next to me and uh, I have my phone propped up. Um, if you guys are filming, don't forget your tripods because I have a GoPro and we have another camera, but we don't have a tripod to put those pieces of equipment on. So I got my phone, you guys can see in the corner of the screen, you can see I have it rigged up to show you guys the live scope view and how many fish are down there. Oh boy. And the goal of this is just come out here quick, catch some fish, do a little search and destroy mission. I just want to see like how quick I can catch fish here. So Brandon's behind the lens, dropping down that dinner bell and just show you guys why, no matter when we do these challenges, why live scope is just superior. I really give a shot to like every other piece of equipment and yes, they have their places, but guys, I, I hate to be this biased, but the live scope is so freaking good at finding, especially for panfish. Now, if you're walleye fishing or some other stuff, um, other things do, um, take the cake for like better like i was just laker fishing you wouldn't want to be using live scope in 100 feet of water you're gonna want a flasher so everything has a purpose but if you're crappie fishing you gotta buy a live scope <laughs> another fish i actually didn't even know i had them it's kind of bright out so i can't really see my screen hopefully the phone is able to pick it up but decent crappie everything's cookie cutter in this lake it's definitely more of an action lake if you guys haven't figured that out by the amount of school of uh, panfish that we've found so far, they just don't leave. There's just so many. There was seriously like a thousand fish down there when you turned the arm on the old <laughs> Drop it down optics. again, you can see there are multiple fish coming up again. And I just missed one. There we go. Everything is freezing up on me out here. It is really cold with the windshield, but there are so many fish underneath me right now. It's actually almost hard to even see my jig and what's going on. But ever since we got out of the shack, like I said, everything's freezing and <clears throat> these fish are kind of being finicky. Like, as you can tell, there are a million of them, but it does seem like some of the ones that are up on top of the big school are all small bluegills. And yeah, bluegills really don't like spoons a whole lot especially when you are not tipping them at all most of the times crappies you can see them come up and hit immediately like there's one that just came screaming up at me right now that one probably was a crappie but guys live scope i i can't preach enough how great this piece of technology is it has taken the industry by storm and i understand it is a very expensive piece of equipment but if you guys are in the market and can afford to buy this, like without a doubt, 100%, this is where all my money is going to. If you guys do a lot of pan fishing, open water or ice fishing, hands down the best unit you can possibly buy. I think though, we're probably gonna just go back in the shack um, and get warm, but I could sit out here probably all day and catch as many crappies as I really want, but I can't feel my left arm right now and everything is freezing up. So we're gonna go back in the shack. Really just wanted to show you guys in today's video, the difference between live scope and an underwater camera. It really wasn't supposed to be like a challenge. We just wanted to show you guys why you should buy an underwater camera and why you should buy a live scope. Now the price difference is huge. This is a $3,000 unit versus the underwater camera we have is about $600. So take that however you want. You don't need a live scope. We're just showing you guys the benefits of both of them. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the underwater footage and the live scope footage. Like I said, we're gonna go back in the shack, get warm, pound on some more fish, probably film some more videos while we're here all day today. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. But that is where we're gonna end today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you wanna see more videos like this, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a like because the more likes we get, one, it puts the video in the algorithm so it gets us more views and more exposures, which is great. And it also shows that you guys like the content that we are creating. It's a good way for us with the comment section and the likes to actually see what you guys want to see. And then, like I said in the intro, we this is like the third part I would say to this like series of technology versus technology. If you guys wanna watch any of those other videos, I will leave them down below as well or I'll put them up here uh, with like one of the YouTube cards or whatever. So if you guys wanna watch that as well, go watch them. But I'm gonna stop rambling. My hands are super cold. Like the video if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. We got a lot of ice still here. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.